Brevard County business owners are fired up and cleaning up after vandals have ruined murals and damaged property by spraying graffiti. It's happened at least a half a dozen times in downtown Titusville. News 6's James Sparvero is there. A city defined by nature, history and space seemingly in the blink of an eye is getting recognized this week for a much less desired reason this graffiti. It's just a shame. On a half dozen buildings, like Wild Ocean Market, the seafood business was tagged earlier this month, the unknown vandal tainting a giant mural covering the building for several years. Considering we already had art on the wall, I would consider it vandalism. It's very disappointing because it's a beautiful mural. The seafood market painted over the graffiti, this part of the mural as it was originally, perhaps never to be restored. To do it properly is very expensive. It's a shame that we had to cover what was there. Police say the business is one of a half dozen locations near downtown all vandalized by the same unknown person with a pair of common traits in his or her work. The graffiti is very distinctive. A smiley face and an arrow. You can definitely see the line there. It definitely looks like an arrow. We want a beautiful town and we're so proud of the beautiful downtown we have now. The disgrace of someone destroying someone else's property is something we're going to take care of right away. I really wish that he had just come and talked to us and if he had wanted to paint some artwork, I mean, we'd have probably been on board with it. In Titusville, James Sparvero, News 6.